You ever get to that point in life where you stand at the mirror? And you don't recognize the person standing back at you. That's why I'm at, man. I was drawn to this game, this world, like a moth to a flame. Started out like everybody else. Wanted the, uh, wanted dreams and try to escape struggles and try to make the best for myself. But life, life had other plans for me. I ain't looking for no sympathy, man. This ain't no sob story. I played my part. I played it well. I built an empire off the backs of bitches. Money, power, respect. I had it all. But deep down, I knew it was wrong. I sold dreams, man. I sold dreams to those who had none. I painted a picture of this better life. Meanwhile, I'm drowning in darkness. I justified it. I said, it's a cruel world and I'm just a player in it. You know, I see the pain. The dreams I shattered. The young girls, innocent, hopeful.
It's a cost to my world. You got to pay if you want to be around me. Ain't nothing free. It's a business, man. This ain't no fucking charity. These hoes pay because they want that spotlight. Simple as that. So, um, yeah, I'm Shadow. I'm the one orchestrating this whole fucking game. These hoes pay up because they know I'm the real deal. You know, um, I know you might not agree with what I'm saying. You might not like what I'm saying. But, you know, fuck you. Fuck this shit, man. You want to know about me? Think you can handle that kind of truth? Okay. Fine. Buckle up. Because it's going to get real. My name's Sophie. Everyone here just calls me Lark. Kind of new to the scene. Can you believe that when I first came here, I was all innocent, naive, hopeful? I guess I was just kind of standing on the edge of reality before. And then she came and hit me like a freight train. I traded the quiet fields of West Virginia for the bright, shiny lights of Atlanta. Back home, my mom, she used to always keep it all together. I mean, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, though. So. My brother, he was gone, and my dad, he was just a distant echo after that. So I wasn't leaving much. Those kind of scars, I think they stay with you. Shaped me more than I thought. When I came here, and I had dreams. I was gonna strut down the runway, be a damn model. I just wanted to own the spotlight. You know, just have it shine on me for once. But life had other plans. I just came here and I was serving up tables at a strip club. Ironic, I know. Serving up other people's dreams while mine just collected dust. And then came Shadow. He was a smooth, slick talk. He wore these chains that just glistened like promises. He sold me on this whole glamorous life. I was wrapped up in illusions of cash and power. Little I know that life wasn't gold. It's a twisted game. A hustle turns dreams into nightmares. I fell for his words hard. Got tangled up in his web, tales that he would spin. He told me we were like the modern day Bonnie and Clyde. 
two hearts beating as one type of bullshit. But it was just a setup. Way to drag me into this kind of world. World darker than that itself. He'd feed me lines. <clears throat> Told me that it was all about the finesse. And I, he just made it seem so innocent. Like I was finessing these people who just wanted to be around this bad bitch persona. And he'd tell me it was just conversation, Sophie. It's fine. It was just a game, a mind game. And he would just drag me further. And I fell for it. Got lost in his maze. Yo, what's up? I'm Amelia. They call me Sparrow. It's crazy, right? Like, I'm just out here trying to soar, but sometimes uh, these streets, they ain't no sky. Um, life kicked off wild, you know? Foster care mess, bouncing around like a ball. No love, no stability. Thirteen, man. Thirteen. And I'm already out. I'm done with the whole system. You know, you'd think it'd be some kind of freedom, but really it's just another kind of prison. Some dude saw that vulnerability lost look in my eyes and they pounce on you like vultures and prey one of them yeah that was uh, that was my own mom's boyfriend I mean can you believe it the one person who's supposed to look out for me Shattered trust and run in pieces. I I hit the streets. Atlanta lights shining bright. But uh the shadows out here. They got claws. Not only they, they promise you love and family and everything I've been starving for, but, but it's all a twisted game. Mama didn't believe me, no, she... She thought I was trying to steal her man. It's crazy, right? Like, jealous of her own flesh and blood. And so I... I walk these sidewalks like the lily path I got left. And every corner, every alley, each step's a reminder of how I got tangled up in all this mess. And then there's Shadow, the smooth talker. He saw my hurt and he used it. That was a charm and fake promises. He pulled me in, made me believe he was my savior. The blade. That's where it all went down. Fate or just 
bad luck. I don't know, okay? But that's where our paths crossed. Where I became another piece of this messed up puzzle. My story isn't unique. You know, there are others out there, girls like me, lost, looking for love, and getting played like cards in a rigged game. Okay, this, this isn't just my story. This is a story about how easy it is to get trapped, to get exploited, and I'm the face of that vulnerability. Okay, the proof that we need to wake up and be aware because behind these city lights, there is a darkness that preys on us. And we, we gotta fight to break free, to flip the script, to reclaim our wings and soar above these streets and find the sky that we deserve. Yeah. Life ain't no straight road. It's more like a wild ride through the streets. And this shit ain't been easy. Let me tell you, my mama raised me in the whole life and I learned to own that shit. She taught me to hustle and to own my power in a world that was always trying to keep me down. I grew up watching my mama bring in stacks of cash, making more in one night than most folks made in a week. She, she showed me the game, how to work it, how to turn heads, and how to make them pay up. And I ain't ashamed to say it. I walked that path too, baby. I walked it. I've made more money than some bitches could ever dream of. But to me, being a hoe ain't just about the money, though. It's about taking what the world dishes out and turning it into gold. See, real women hoes, they need a pimp who gets it, who can handle the game and take care of them. I've had my fair share of pimps, the good, the bad, and the downright trash. So I know what makes a pimp worth his weight and gold. Then came my shadow. My blood. My legacy. When he came into this world, something just shifted. I realized I needed to pass on the game. Teach him how to be the best pimp he could be. And again, it ain't just about the money. It's about respect, control, how he treats his girls like the queens they are. And I know this shit sound crazy, but that's our world and I'm proud of it. He's carved his own path, respecting the hustle and the game. See, some people hustle to survive. And some, like my shadow, they born with the hustle in their veins. And that's worth some. So yeah, I say it. I'm proud of my boy. Proud of what he's become. I wouldn't want him to be any other way. And I ain't backing down from saying that loud. He got the hustle. He got the respect. He the pimp this world needs.
This is our legacy, our way of life. And some folks may not get it. That's all right. We here. We hustle. We're creating our own damn rules. And I wouldn't change that for anything else in this world.